Hello, this is Brian Resney, President of Resney Wealth Management. I'm bringing you an important update about the economy and the investment market so you can better understand not only what we see in the global landscape, but also how we're currently positioned. You know, we had the uh, presidential, uh, vice presidential debate yesterday, last night. And, uh, of course, I watched it and uh, took some notes and listened to the uh, rhetoric from both sides. Now, I'm not going to preach that I'm a Republican or Democrat. But basically what I'm going to tell uh, all of my uh, listeners is it's interesting to watch how things are spin on either side. Ultimately, our economy can be fixed. Ultimately, we can grow jobs in this economy. Ultimately, we can pay down the deficit. But it's going to take adults in the room. And it's going to take a Congress, obviously, both sides of the aisle that work together. I believe you know we're in a, in a not in a great situation on growth in the U.S. economy. And I think that has to do a lot with... Uh, the way the current administration has run things and I ultimately believe it can be fixed. The key is who's going to fix it and what are the real master plans. I've always talked before that unless you grow jobs uh, you're not going to grow the economy and what you have to think about as a voter is who is going to be best to truly grow jobs in this economy. Now we look at the job numbers that came out a few weeks ago, we look at the initial claims that came out yesterday and generally speaking the job market is basically flat and not really growing a lot of jobs overall. GDP in this country has grown about 1.3 percent which is anemic and the bottom line is if you grow jobs you will grow the economy and you will grow the tax base which ultimately pays down the deficit. Now of course we're invested accordingly based upon our relative strength within our current rankings in our portfolio and I can tell you we currently own gold because of inflationary pressures, moderate inflationary pressures at why it's in the portfolio. We also own emerging market bonds which are doing fabulously well and we also own some of the emerging market equity based positions. The emerging market equity based positions uh, lagged actually or the emerging markets I should say lagged at the beginning of this year and there seems to be an about turnaround. The S&P seems to really start lagging now, and I think a lot of that has to do not only with the bank earnings that have been coming out, but also with Apple Computer uh, being a big part of the S&P because it's cap-weighted, and also the NASDAQ. What I would say is this. I don't see any major sell-off in the, in the horizon coming. I ultimately believe that we're going to muddle through the rest of this year, and I think there's going to be some slight growth in the U.S. economy. I believe it's going to be a fiery election. I hope people truly think about who they're voting for and actually get out and vote. And I think a lot of people need to get out and vote. I think ultimately if the right uh, group of people are put back in place, and I think we can straighten out this budget problem, straighten out the jobs, uh, and also grow our economy, which will make everybody richer down the road. I firmly believe the emerging markets are going to outperform as we get into the end of this year and next year. I firmly believe countries that have fiscal responsibility and countries that have smaller governments, which I think ultimately, depending who's elected, I think that's going to be one of the major pushes and goals is to reduce the size of government. And it's been proven around the world that countries with the smallest government have the highest GDP growth. We currently have one of the largest governments in the world, and of course we have one of the lowest growth also in the GDP side. We need to reduce size of government. Again, all these things can be accomplished depending who is put in the White House, and if we can get the Democrats and Republicans to work as adults and in the same room, I think ultimately we are going to be in a much better situation as we get into next year. I'm not looking for gloom and doom. Fiscal cliff is coming, and everybody talks about that. I think it's going to be a muted point. I think ultimately there, this will be pushed down the road, and it will be resolved as we get into next year. So I'm not really looking for any catastrophic anything happening, but I'm looking for improvements as we get further into the end of this year and as we get into next year. I believe we're currently positioned well for that. We're a little bit more defensive kind of across the board just because of our bond exposure. Uh, but also we have our growth potential, which is our emerging market drivers, which seems to be doing actually quite well for the month. And as I made a comment earlier, I believe that's going to be one of the leaders going forward. This is Brian Resnick. We're going to have a fabulous uh, radio show on Sunday and, of course, a live TV show in Southwest Florida on Wednesday night. Make sure if you do have questions, if you're a client, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about your portfolio. If you're not a client and want to become a client, please call our office for a consultation. Let us help you uh, do the right things with your portfolio 
and get a second opinion. Until Sunday show, make sure you have yourself an extremely safe weekend and of course a profitable next week.